Good morning, friends. Here is a little bite-sized morning yoga flow to inspire you with fresh energy and confidence to be your best self today. And we're gonna start with some powerful affirmations of gratitude to open your heart to the gift that is this day. Before we begin, if you enjoy my classes, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and please consider becoming a Patreon member. Patreon supports me making these videos for you, and it gets you access to exclusive content like one-hour classes and live streams and a really awesome book club. If you're already a member, thank you so very much. And if not, I welcome you to check it out. Uh, I do recommend one block for today's practice. It's not required, but it'll make your practice more accessible and fun. All right, let's begin in the best way possible with a calming breath practice to clear and relax your mind and relax and regulate your nervous system. It's powerful stuff. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Find an easy, comfortable seat. Let the shoulders melt from your ears and close your eyes. Just bring a gentle awareness to your breath. And with every inhale, feel your attention and your awareness gathering more to this moment, to your breath, away from your thoughts and into your body. Feel your senses coming alive. With every exhale, feel a sense of ease and relaxation melting from the crown of your head across your scalp. Relax your eyes and your cheeks. Soften your tongue and relax your jaw. And let this sense of ease and softness melt down the chin and the neck into the shoulders. Relax down the upper back along the spine. And let's begin our practice with a few affirmations of gratitude to set the intention for this day and open our heart to more possibility. I'll say these words out loud and you repeat them silently to yourself. Here we go. I don't know what will happen today, but I do know this. I woke up this morning I am alive. I have friends and family that I love and that love me. And I am grateful for the gift of this day. May I be fully present today to enjoy each precious moment. Let's sit for a few more moments, eyes closed, and welcome these words into your heart. and blink your eyes slowly open. All right, we're gonna work a little bit with our breath, and as you do, I want you to visualize something. Imagine the trees and the plants and the flowers photosynthesizing the energy of the sun and then putting that energy back out into the atmosphere as oxygen for us to breathe so that every breath we take, we are literally bringing in the energy of spring sunshine into our body. Feel that. Okay, 
spinal flex. So hands come to the knees, sit up nice and tall. As we inhale, the heart comes forward, extend through the upper back, and as we exhale, round through the upper back and draw the navel in. So it's sort of like a seated cat cow. Now the shoulders don't move all that much. Think of the shoulders as a door frame through which the spine moves. Let's start out nice and easy. Here we go. Big, full, deep breaths, but relaxed, nice and easy, no stressing. Work at a pace that feels natural and easy for you, but dynamic and energizing so that it feels engaging and fun. Keep checking in with yourself. If you start to feel dizzy or lightheaded, slow it down. Relax the muscles of your face. Relax your whole body. So nothing is forced here, just nice and easy. And feel the energy of breath and oxygen and sunshine filling your body. You're doing great. Couple more breaths. And as you inhale, heart forward, big breath, hold your breath at the top for three, two, one. Exhale, relax the shoulders, sit nice and tall. And just feel. Blink your eyes open. All right, next one is a kundalini inspired twist. So make a little bird's beak with your hands. Tips of the fingers come to the tops of the shoulders. As we inhale, we twist to the left. Exhale, twist to the right. Again, starting nice and slow. Here we go. You can close your eyes if that feels good or keep them open, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> And again, notice if anything feels tense here. Relax, soften the muscles of your face, cheeks, jaw, your whole body. Just let the momentum carry you. Keep sitting nice and tall. Imagine the crown of your head reaching to the sky. Your spine is nice and long. This is really great for the spine. These dynamic twists help to rehydrate the spinal discs, correct little misalignments in the spine, opens up the hips, good stuff. Couple more breaths. Turn to face the front, big breath in, reach your hands to the sky, palms meet overhead and hold your breath at the top for three, two, one, exhale, let the hands float to the knees, sit tall and relax. And slowly blink your eyes open. All right, are you feeling a little effervescent bubbles rising up, feeling that sunshine in your body? Okay, one more. This is a kundalini wood chopper. Uh, interlace all the fingers except the index finger pressed together. Cross the thumbs over top. As we inhale, lift the arms straight up to the sky, arms alongside the ears. And as we exhale, <sighs> We bring our wood chopper down. This is a great breath uh, and energy exercise. It's a great shoulder workout as you'll discover. Okay, here we go. Big breath in, exhale, come down.
Again, you could close the eyes or keep them open, whatever feels most natural. And really try to bring the arms straight up and to the ears or a little bit past the ears. Again, notice if anything is tense here, relax your cheeks and jaw, your tongue. Feel that warmth building in the shoulders. It's good stuff, folks. Breathing in as you lift, exhaling as you come down. Just a couple more breaths. Stay with me. You got this. Inhale, take your arms straight to the sky. Hold your breath at the top for three, two, one. Exhale, let the hands float down to the knees. Embrace the sensation in the shoulders, in your body. And just breathe and relax. And blink your eyes slowly open. All right, sweep your legs around behind you and come into tabletop, wrists under shoulders, knees under the hips, curl your toes under and lift your hips, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here and dial in a nice strong downward dog. So pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw the opposite heel down, stretch out the calves and the hamstrings. And you can play with the hand position or foot position, a little wider, longer. Find a position that feels strong and sturdy to you. And coming to stillness, great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Slowly walk your hands back to your feet at the back of the mat. Bend into your knees and roll yourself slowly up to standing. As you inhale, sweep your hands up to the sky, palms meet overhead, and begin to bend into the knees. Keep your spine nice and tall so you're not hunching over here. Draw the hands down to the heart. Keep bending into the knees until you get nice and deep into a squat. Then at the bottom, we fold forward and wave ourselves back up. We're gonna do these with the breath. These are called squat waves. Here we go. Inhale, palms meet, bend into the knees. Again, keep the spine nice and tall as you get deep into a squat. Fold at the bottom. Inhale, roll up, reach into the sky. Exhale, bend the knees, come down. Inhale as we roll up. And exhale as we come down. This is a great workout for the glutes and the thighs. And we're breathing in sunshine once again. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Feel weight in the heels as you come down. You be can begin to work at your own pace here. If it feels good in your body to go faster, do that. If it feels good to be slow and just take your time, do that. Mm, these are so good. What a great way to greet the day. One more time coming up. One more time coming down. And this time we rise up and stay up. Reach into the sky. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Let's take a big side stretch here. Reaching over to the right. Inhale, rise up. Switch hands. Left hand grabs the right wrist and take it over to the left. Oh, that feels good. Inhale, stand tall. Release the wrist and open your wings. Swan dive at the back of the mat. Inhale, walk the hands back to the top of the mat. Downward dog. 
feet together, take your right heel up to the sky nice and high. And as you exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Bring the back knee down for lizard pose. Untuck that back toe. And let's stay up on the hands here in lizard pose. And inhale, lift your heart, push your heart gently forward. And imagine the shoulders coming back gently. Breathe. Feel the spine lengthening, the hips opening, and that right hamstring stretching. Good stuff. Gently press into the top of the back foot. That helps to activate the left glute muscle, which releases the front of the um, left hip flexor and left quad muscle. Helps you get a little deeper into the stretch. As you inhale, curl that back toe under, lift the back knee, and step the left foot now to the outside of that left hand for Malasana squat. Um, now, if the heels are comfortable coming all the way down, you can do that. Otherwise, hands can come to the ground and you can keep the heels lifted. You can also hold your block out here as a counterbalance, okay? So nice and tall through the spine, lift the heart, draw the shoulders back, close your eyes and breathe. This is a fantastic hip stretch and it's really therapeutic for the low back. I'm getting a nice stretch in the low back and the hips. And place the block down if you have it. And now step that right foot all the way back and we'll come into lizard on the other side. Untuck the back toes. Adjust the position so that you're comfy in the stretch. And again, stay up on your hands here. Lift the heart, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders gently back. Feel the length of the spine. The upper back is nice and open and the low back is nice and flat. Again, push gently into the top of the back foot and feel that right glute activate just a little bit. Mm, breathe into the left hamstring and left hip. I really feel this. It's good stuff. And curl that back toe under, lift the back knee and step the right foot to the outside of the right hand for another Malasana squat. Again, you can keep the heels lifted here or if the heels come down, hold the block or bring your palms together at your heart. Nice and tall through the spine, heart forward, shoulders back. And if it's accessible and fun, let's take a little twist here. So right hand reaches inside that right shin to the outside of the mat, left hand to the sky, and gaze to the lifted hand. And slowly reach the hand up and back. Let your gaze follow it. And if this feels too much in the hips, don't do it, folks. It's okay. You can stay with your hands on the ground in front of you or stay in the squat without the twist. And if you want to take it even one step further, you can take the bind around the outside of that right hip, reaching the right hand around the front of the shin, left hand around your back, and then clasp the hands to the outside of that right hip. Gaze turns upward to the left. And again, if this is too much, don't beat yourself up. It's totally okay. You don't have to do anything that doesn't feel good and joyful in your body. Release the bind if you have it. Let's take a twist to the other side if you so choose. Left hand to the inside of that left shin off the side of the mat and right hand up to the sky. And take it slow here. Slowly reach up and back, breath by breath, reaching up and back. And if it feels good in your body, you can stay here or take the bind on this side. Reach that left hand around the front of the shin, right hand around the back, and find the clasp outside of the hips. Gaze up to the right. Breathe and relax. Always come back to a balance of 
uh, focus and strength and ease and relaxation in every pose. And release the bind if you have it. Hands come down and lift the hips. Let's come into a forward fold here. Halfway lift. As you exhale, fold, keeping your low back nice and flat. So if you want to have the block to help you, that's a great idea. You want to keep the low back flat here and feel the stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Bend into the knees, wave yourself up. And as you inhale, take your hands to the sky, bend into the knees, and let's find a nice juicy chair pose. So ease yourself into it, breath by breath. Bring a little more weight into the heels. And again, the spine is nice and long here. Long straight line down the arms, down the spine, all the way to the sacrum. As we inhale, rise up into one leg mountain pose. Palms come to the heart. Lift that left knee. And exhale, warrior three. So extend the left leg straight back, staying balanced on the right foot. If you fall over here, it's okay, right? Have fun with this. Lift the left heel and dip the left hip so the hips are level facing the ground and reach the crown of your head forward. As you inhale, we rise back up into one leg mountain pose, lifting the left knee. Right hand to the outside of that left knee, right hand, or left hand reaching back rather, and turn to look back at that left hand into a little twist. Inhale, turn back to face the front, step the left foot down, and let's find our chair pose again. Nice job. Settle in. So you can start your chair pose with just a little baby bend in the knees and settle in breath by breath, coming deeper until you feel the right amount of sensation. From here, inhale, rise up, one leg mountain pose, lifting the right knee, palms come to the heart. And from here, Let's work into warrior three. So staying balanced on that left foot, extend the right leg straight back, lift the right heel, dip the right hip, and reach the crown of your head forward. My head is in the fern, <laughs> almost. Uh, hi, fern. Breathe into this. And again, if you fall, it's okay, right? Staying balanced on that left foot, we rise back up into one leg mountain pose, lifting the right knee and left hand to the outside of that right knee, right hand, reach it back and let's work into a twist. Again, falling here is fine. Turn this into a little fun, playful, joyful activity. It's not serious, folks. Inhale, turn back to face the front. Step that right foot down and let's find our chair pose once again. Settle in. Little by little, we get deeper and deeper. Shift weight back into the heels and let's take it nice and deep now. Feel a little warmth in the thighs and the glutes. <laughs> Breathe into that. What a good way to start our day together. Inhale, rise up, open your wings and take a big swan dive at the top of your mat, halfway lift. Step back, plank pose. Let's stay in plank for just a moment. Wrap the elbows in, and we're going to do five push-ups together, five slow push-ups. Now, you can come to your knees, heels into the butt, or you can keep the knees lifted, your choice. Here we go. Elbows stay close to the body, lower as low as you can, and inhale, push-up for one. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, push-up for two. Exhale, come down. Inhale, push up for three. Just do as many as you can. Come down for four, pushing up. And one more, down and up for five. This time we lower slowly all the way to our belly. Extend the legs behind you. Move the heels of the hands back a little bit for cobra pose. Press into the heels of the hands. Lift the heart and then at the top, push the heart forward. Draw the shoulders back opening and stretching and lengthening the spine. Exhale, lower, hips to heels, child's pose. What a great practice. Take your knees wide, big toe mounds touch, and let your forehead gently come to rest. Feel into mama earth. 
Feel that spring energy moving sunshine in your body with your breath. Sit back to your heels and sweep your legs around in front of you. Let's work into one final hip stretch here. Janyu Shirshasana. Extend the right leg long. Bring the sole of the left foot inside that right thigh. Big breath as you reach into the sky. And exhale. Slowly fold forward, keeping a long spine, a flat low back. And that may mean... You don't fold as deep, right? So you want to avoid hunching over, but keep long, think long and flat through the low back. And then just go as low as you can. Once you find your fullest expression, let your upper back and head kind of relax a little and breathe. Inhale, slowly rise, left hand to the mat behind you. Stargazer pose, press into that left hand, sweep the right hand up and over, and then reach back behind you with the right fingertips. Big breath, stretch. Exhale, lower. Let's do the other side. Left leg grows long here. Right foot inside that thigh. Big breath, reach up, and exhale, Fold again, long spine and a flat low back. So every inhale, I like to lengthen. And then on the exhale, I'll deepen a little bit. Doing that every breath until I find my happy place. And then relax a little bit at the, at the fullest, the point of fullest expression. Inhale, slowly rise. Right hand plants behind you. Lift your hips and sweep that left hand up and over. Great big stretch. Really push into the right hand here to open up through the heart. Extend and arch through the upper back. And exhale, slowly lower. Awesome work, my friends. Come all the way down to your back. Hug both knees into your chest. Little rock side to side here. And let's end with a glorious, happy baby. (laughs) Take your feet up in the air, grab the outside edges of your feet. You can allow your feet to open as wide as they wish. And let your shoulders and your hips and your low back come all the way down to the mat. Close your eyes and breathe. You can stay still or you can take a little rock side to side. This rocking is very soothing to the nervous system. May your day be filled with peace and little joys and smiles. May you feel connected to gratitude all day long. May you see this day as a beautiful gift. May you feel loved because you are. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Relax, stretch out, and melt into Shavasana.
Bring some wiggles into your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead and stretch from fingertips to your toe tips. Feel your breath washing through your body. Feel this day full of possibilities. Exhale, knees into your chest and roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat and bring your palms together at your heart. Close your eyes. We raise our thumb knuckles to the point between our brow and we bow to one another in light and love. Namaste. Namaste, my friends. The sunlight in me sees the sunlight in you. I love you lots, and um, I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon.